All right, welcome to it. This is That Z Podcast, and I'm your host. My name is K Plus, also known as the most hardworking man in show business. That Z Podcast. Z Podcast. Zambian conversations with having. We talk to Zambian movers and shakers, the change makers, the achievers. We also discuss interesting topics. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube, That Z Podcast. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Listen to That Z Podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcast, and Anchor. That Z Podcast. Zambian conversations. with having hosted by K- K+ Plus. It's K+ Plus, baby. <laughs> On this episode of That's a Podcast, I'd like to outline first why we started this uh, podcast. To start with, I've been in the radio industry for like what, 13 years and radio has been a passion of mine from the time I could from as far as I can remember, from the time I could walk, from the time I understood what music was, radio has been a major passion of mine, but I can't be in radio just now. So, I decided to start a podcast where I'll be talking to you know the movers, the shakers, the achievers, the trend setters in this country we love to call Zambia, our motherland. and we'll be talking to a lot of people you know then we'll be learning a lot from them and in addition to that of course we'll be sharing stories that are that, that I hope will inspire people like you and uh, those close to you that z podcast z podcast and on today's episode i've got a photographer who i must say this guy is a beast when it comes to you know photography he's a beast with a camera Him with a camera is like Cristiano Ronaldo with a ball. In fact, since it's that said podcast, let me say him with a ball. Him with a camera is like <laughs> Patson Daka with a ball. ball eh? It's like Frederick Chiluba <laughs> with a speech. It's like Kenneth Kaunda fighting for independence. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about Zambia's number one photographer. Are you Zambia's number one photographer? Ah, uh, you said Davis it yourself. Tony. You said it yourself. So. I said it myself, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Davis <laughs> Tony. Now, Davis Tony, first of all, is is that even your Do people even know? Um, that Davis Marco is actually <laughs> a real name. Yeah, yeah some know, but uh, most people call me Davis Tony because it's like a, it's a brand name, so most people are used to. So Davis the Tony, the yeah. real name is Davis Marco. Yeah, but dude, that's a very light skinned name. <laughs> I know, right? Maybe <laughs> it's I a very am. light skinned name. Maybe I am. So how how, how does one end up being Davis Marco? I should ask my dad that question. <laughs> Uh, your dad, you adopted? No, 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 no. That's my. That's actually my my last name. But uh, it's just that uh, I'm half Zambian and yeah. uh, half Congolese. But Marco is not a Congolese name, it's is it? It's a Congolese name. Marco. Yes. Interesting, because you know when I look at you, you look more like a David Wimbia, David <laughs> Mwam. That's how he looks, eh? Hey? <laughs> Somebody to adopt me. You should give me that that Zambian name. Eh? Yeah, true story, man. Yeah. Like you really look like a David Mwamba. Mulenga, so yeah. I like Mulenga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, yeah. Davis, um, mm. before we go any further, I'd love to, you know, talk about our sponsors first. Granddaddy, thanks a lot for the venue. They've given us this venue. Nice leather seats. Loving yeah, it's, the, a, it's a beautiful place. Yeah. Loving the place, yes. Yeah. We're at Granddaddy's right now doing that Z podcast. The other sponsor we have uh, is actually a company called... This company uh, has given us these products. Do, do you drink, by the way? When you say drink, what do you mean? Alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I drink. Okay. If you're one of those people <laughs> who patronize places like uh, Granddaddy's and you drink a lot on the weekends and you end up with hangovers like I do like three day hangovers. Yeah. Here's a cure for you. Something called Healthy Life. Okay. And this one is a product of Copala Milling. I know it's a bit of a uh, noxmore and having a milling company making something <laughs> that cures your hangover. <laughs> But we've got a a drink called uh, Magic Shot, okay? Now Magic Shot is a anti hangover drink and uh It's, it's made purely from food extracts. It relieves hangover symptoms. It speeds up alcohol elimination. And you can actually get this uh, drink. I'll, I'll be announcing the numbers a little later in the show. But for now, let's get to knowing Tony a little bit more. So we've, we've, we've gotten over what, what the Davis Marco name. Mm-hmm. I'd like to get something to... I'd, li- I'd like to get to... Something that's been bugging me when I come to your account, eh? Okay. Your yeah. account is like one of the busiest in the country right now. Really? <laughs> Before we even talk about your history, or maybe we should start from there. Where do you come from and how did you end up where you are today? Davis Tony, Zambia's number one photographer. <laughs> okay, I come from the the Copper Belt, key to to be precise. Um I came to the Saka, I think I uh, should be around 2012. I okay. came here for school, then uh, after graduating I decided to Wait, wh- wh- what were you studying? Uh, art, fine arts. 
What's fine arts? <laughs> What's fine arts? Bre- break uh, it down for the average uh, Zambian. What's fine arts? It's um, it's a, uh, it's it's an artistic course where you 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 major in in one uh, artistic um, talent. It might be sculpture. It might be portraits. So is this where the photography comes That's in? That's where the photography comes in. So but I I'd, I'd, I'd like to believe I was I was an artist before I even went to school, because I, I growing up I used to draw and, and I used to do a lot of graffiti and whatnot. So I think yeah. the talent was just there when I was pretty young. Until I discovered the camera, then I decided to pick it up. So uh, I, I was always under the impression like the camera is something that you know you've grown up with. Like maybe there was a camera in the home that. F- 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 funny enough, we used to sell cameras and um, films back home. We had a shop where I used to sell those, but I never used to bother myself because I never used to see myself up as a photographer or anything like that. Until I decided to like really focus on my arts, and I picked up the camera as well. So, so wh- where does the passion come in? I think it's 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 also always been there, and and uh, the fact that I, I I love how the camera works, where you can capture a moment and 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 freeze it instead of spending time painting and drawing and whatnot. So that's how I decided to fall in love with the camera. So fine arts is where now you start, you know, growing this passion. Growing, yeah, like knowing what you're really good at, because okay. I, I I majored in pictorial, so it's something like similar to the painting. So it's, it's like in the, in the same line. Yes. Yeah. So you draw as well. I do. But I haven't done it in close to five years now. So you come from Kitwe uh, to Lusaka for school. Yeah. And, you, and at what point do you take over the whole industry now and become <laughs> Zambia's <laughs> number one photographer? I, I don't even know when. But I, I think w- when I started posting my, my stuff on social media, I think a, a lot of people like, welcomed it and embraced it. So I think that's where things started going up. Because I, I, I remember you and... I <laughs> remember <laughs> I didn't understand a punch guy. My camera set and all yeah, those yeah, umbrella yeah, thingies yeah. that you move around with. Yeah. So, is it school that brought you here, or you decided maybe the industry is, uh, you know, more? It's more. Fr- you, you make more money when you come to Lusaka. No, no, it was school. Then I decided to, to just say I'm, I'm gonna stay here because again, when I when yeah. I when I weird when I weird uh, the two towns where uh-huh. I come from and here, I think here uh, people were more uh, welcoming. They were more embracing. Like when you give them a price, they wouldn't. Argue so much, unlike when, where, where I come from. So, so business-wise, Lusaka made more sense than Kitwe. Yeah, Kitwe's a whole different ballgame, I'm, I'm right? telling you. Kitwe's a whole different ballgame. Yeah. People on the Copper Board, I think, we, we, I'm a DJ, you're uh-huh. a photographer. We're sort of in the same you know, creative space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people on the Copper Belt, I don't know why this is. Or maybe it's a Zambian thing. It's a Copper Belt. We thing. have a problem with paying for talent. Talent, yeah, true. Creativity. Mm-hmm. You tell them you're a DJ, they don't want to pay what you're asking for. You tell them you're a photographer. Why, why, why stuff like a camera? They yeah, here? they don't understand what goes what goes behind. So it's understandable. But here, I think people are more open here than than where I come from. Unfortunately, that's deep, man. Yeah. So how, how, how like you mentioned uh, school, you you know you pick up a camera and decide you know this is what I want to do. Mm-hmm. So can you describe to us like you know the the beginnings of Davis Tony Media in Lusaka? How how did you start? How did you set up? How difficult was it? I, I remember, like, the first time I started shooting, I, I used to use uh, the, the school where I was at. I used to use uh, the TV room. That's okay. where I used to set up, like, a, more like a studio setup you know, uh, in the night because m- during the day people are watching TV and whatnot. Yeah. So I used to do it in the night when it's less busy. And I would call my friends, uh, some, some girls around campus to say, can you come and model for me? And I would practice uh, using those pictures. And from then, I think I, I kept on improving my skill. Sweet stuff, man. Yeah. Sweet stuff. I was, um, you know, going through your Instagram, your Facebook. Yeah. And I, need, I think before I ask this question, I need to ask, are you uh-huh. dating anyone? Uh, that's a tough <laughs> one. I, I love yeah, the but, pose. But, with uh, the uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm not in a relationship, okay. but, I'm, but I'm dating someone. Which brings me to the next question. Mm-hmm. I've seen a lot of nudity or something close to nudity on your, your Instagram, your Facebook. Mm. How does... Well, clo- something close to it. Okay. Yeah, yeah put, put like it there, there are a lot of ladies <laughs> that yeah. are not dressed, you know, just hold, cupping their boobs <laughs> with their hands. How does your lady take all this? Um, I think she understands what I do. And uh, it's all about trust because uh, if I was somebody who wasn't straightforward and uh, whatnot, I'm sure she would... But you do but shoot naked women, do you? No, I've never shot a naked woman before. Half naked? Not even half naked. So those things those we see women cupping their... Most of them, they wear, I don't know what they wear, I don't, but we just crop it in a way that it looks like it's, it's ah. naked. But never have I shot an old picture before. Okay. Yeah. So now, you know, you've set up, you talked about how uh, you came to Lusaka, you, you set up and all that. 
we have a problem, I think, with family in Africa. How, you know, uh, when you talk about going into a creative space, yeah, there's yeah, always yeah. that. If you're the folks that have been, if you're like, yeah, yeah. I forgot the cameraman, I believe like, that's what like, they called you. Yeah, true. Because yeah. we had, we had um, this, this cameraman in our family, you know, someone <laughs> yeah, who's not a like, photographer. Not a photographer, it's a cameraman. <laughs> Like, like someone who just rides on a bike, you know, going mm. around the compound, taking pictures. Taking and pic- them. So, so when, when I graduated and I told them to say, I think um, I'll take up this photography thing. That was around 2016 to say, I'm going to take it up full time. Yeah. My aunt said, because she's the one who took me to school and what she complained bitterly. I was like, no, nah, I can't take you to school. Then you said to be a cameraman. Eh? You want to be like, as she started mentioning this uncle, man. Who's but broke? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but he was an example yeah. of somebody not yeah, making yeah, like, like somebody, somebody not making money from a camera. You so know what I mean? They thought you're gonna go down the same road. The same road. But after some time, they started noticing because they, I could see my works on TV, on billboards, and whatnot. They're like, "Oh, so this is what you're talking about." Uh, so they, they started being more supportive. Like later, when the brand was uh, a bit uh, known. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. But, so but yeah, like you said, African parents are always <laughs> looking down on talent. So would you say you're living the soft life now? I mean, everyone's talking about David Stoney. Uh, uh, you're making uh, money uh, now. Uh, you haven't dressed like a sheik. <laughs> sheik Davis, Marco. Maybe I'm one. <laughs> 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 well, um, I should say I'm comfortable. I'm not rich, but I'm, I'm comfortable. Um, it's, it's always the rich people who say they're comfortable. <laughs> no. <laughs> but you, you realize one thing. What's you that? can't be comfortable unless you're rich. No, you can. You're just content with what you have. And I think that's what I... I'm content with what so I So you're have. living a soft life right no, now. It's not so soft, but I'm comfortable. Almost there. <laughs> Almost comfortable. there. <laughs> it's the word. You know, uh, I mentioned earlier, I was looking at your Facebook, your Instagram. Mm, mm. Would you, at this point, call yourself an influencer? I, I, I'd like to believe, yeah, because I have um, I also have some deals that I'm signing up away from what I do, yeah. just as a person to do a, a few things for, for people that I'm signing with. Okay. You know, I asked that question because I, I've seen too many people on uh, Facebook, Instagram, profile saying influencer. influencer. This person was going to, what, 50 <laughs> follows, yeah, 50 people know. following you, and you call yourself an influencer. Imagine. It's, it's, but it's, um, I think we, we live in... in, in, in the generation where everyone wants to be famous, everyone wants to be a model, everyone wants to be this baddest, whatever. So it's understandable. <laughs> Influencer. Influencer. With 50 people following. <laughs> <laughs> Influencing what now? <laughs> but then what do you feel about, you know, um, how social media right now, I think uh, if, if for lack of a better term, I'd call it very diluted. Mm-hmm. Considering the people who trend are people actually not doing anything that's making enough sense. I mean, we've got yeah. people trending just for squatting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's true that's true commander and, and, grace and, and i think if you follow famous me on my, just for squatting yeah if you follow me on my my personal account that's what i was saying as well to say i don't know what's going on i can't i can't classify what's really going on but you would wonder what goes through people's mind to say how are you making this trend you know? yeah like it, it's it's it won't build us in any way because there's some people who, who post a lot of positive stuff things that we can learn Two from likes. that we can build they Two don't likes. get the attention but people somebody put, squats. I'm telling you, with the with with the bar, bar? <laughs> Somebody squats. <laughs> yeah. Look at this guy being you an get idiot. A thousand for He's being an idiot in the background. I'm telling you, it's crazy. It's crazy. Just just like the the other guy who was um, I think was was crying over the wife. I don't know what the wife did. Uh, yeah. Well, what was, what was the guy who was crying? Crying for the wife again? Is it Diana or something? Uh, Diana, something it like was that. Diana. All of a sudden, he's a comedian. He has created a page <laughs> and he's getting likes. So he's used it. Would you say he's used it positively? I don't know, man. Is, is he a com- <laughs> What's the track record? We need to see what he's been doing. You know, you just can't get. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, but I mean, social, me- uh, social media now. Uh, yeah. You do something silly, you can even just uh, pick up your camera and say about Coppola, and that's it. You're through. You're through, yeah. Six months later, you're making millions. You're making millions, yeah. <laughs> And you're an influencer just like that. <laughs> anyway, Davis, still talking about you. Now, um, your company has grown. And yeah. it, it, what do you call it? Tony Media. Tony Media. Yeah. How, many, how many employees do you have? I have five. Ah, boss. Mm-hmm. How, how do you like pick that. your employees? <laughs> well, I need, I need to see what they are good at. Okay. Because w- when we bring in someone, that we need to align them with uh, our vision and uh, uh, what we stand for. So okay. most of the time... Like, there are some people who have texted me. Like, my, my most uh, recent guy that I added, he inboxed me on Instagram, so he wants to join. Da, da, da. Now, I looked at what he does, 
and I, I think it was okay. He just needed a bit of uh, twitching here yeah. and there, and and uh, I think he has potential to become great. But do you ever have those situations where you know you've trusted a guy with an uh, an event and? Uh, it has, it, has, it has happened. It has happened. There's this, there's this guy is a, is a videographer around. Uh, there's a time this client wanted me to shoot, but I told I told him to say I'm not available on this date. Okay. But he said no. Just recommend someone. Blah 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 blah. I recommended him. Then he lost all the footage. Then the client came back to me and said. And the oh, event has passed. You can't rewind you, you the can't whole rewind. event, man. Yeah. 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 Uh, so uh, it happens. <laughs> so how do how do you sort those things out? No, no it's me. I, I told him to say like I can only event. recommend. Yeah, like it, it was gone. Gone. So no, no, mem- way, no, the only memory these people have of this event is what they took on their phones. Yo, Unfortunately. I would kill you, man. I call you to my wedding and I end up with no photos. I'll kill you. Get a refund yeah. and kill you. Yeah. Follow you to hell and kill you again. <laughs> John Wick vibes, eh? Mm. But yeah, it it happens. So that's how it is. So how do you handle like in in such a case? Somebody goes on Facebook and you know they they shame you, they blast you on the. <laughs> They yeah. come to your page and do reviews and all this <laughs> negativity. How do you handle you, all that? You know, me, me, I'll say this. There's, there's, um, there's a section of people that when you do business with them, you just feel like the energy is off. Even maybe from the beginning of a business, you tell the energy is off, like mm. the way they are treating you. There are some people who treat you like trash because they are paying you, you know. They expect you to be... Boss. You know what I mean. But there are some clients who, when they are coming to you, they respect your, your profession as well. They take you as a professional. Mm-hmm. And most of the time, the people that take things to social media and whatnot, the other ones who are, you just feel like the energy is off from the get go. And how I take it, it's okay. Like there's always good and bad. And sometimes you get uh, you get to build yourself from from criticism. A, a lot of uh, photographers, DJs complain, saying it's the people who pay you the least who complain you know, the yeah, most. So that's the way. That's the way it is. Because <laughs> imagine if I'm trusting that's you with true. one million dollars, yeah, I yeah. know what you're doing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't have to to pressure you every now and then. You know what you're doing. But people who are paying, uh, the lead to are the ones who <laughs> want to be on top of everything. That's, Interesting, it's, man. It's, it's, it's crazy. There's, uh, there's one thing that you hardly speak about. You've never posted this. You actually took photos of the president, oh, yeah. the former president, uh-huh. Edgar Chagwalungu, <laughs> photos yeah. for the campaign. I, yeah. why, why don't you ever talk about this? You're scared of the bashing like Mike Two went through or what? No, not really. I think uh, our country is, is uh, especially right now, I think it's, it's very politically charged, I should say. Like, yeah. most people are very vocal about politics now. I don't know if maybe it's because we are teenagers, like, like you saw the turnout at uh, the voters, like most people are yeah. teenagers and whatnot. So they are yeah. very vocal, even on uh, social media. So what, I, what I try to do is not to post about that because it will look like I'm aligning myself with uh, the president and whatnot. Because for me, it's just work. Even the way I was contacted to do the work, it was, it was based on merit and not based on me aligning myself with a certain political party or anything. I, I'm curious. Who, 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 who was your plug to I, State I, House? I, right? I don't know. They just called me. I, I really don't know. There's this lady. She called me to say, can you come to State House in the next 30 minutes? And I was half asleep. And so I just had to wake up and I started going to State House. So that, that's why I'm not accepting there's this. No, there's nobody that's, why to a, say. that's why I'm not accepting this nonsense of you saying I'm not number one. You <laughs> said it. Dude, why would State House call the whole of Davis, Tony, yeah, I don't from know. your bed, like you stated, you were sleeping that yeah. day? Uh-huh. And, 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 you know, funny enough is when, I, when, I, when we got there, we were told things like, no, we go through most people on social media, we see what they do, and for us to pick you because we were sure that you are the guy for the You're job. number one, dude. Uh, I'm, I'm glad if I'm number one, then well and good. We thank God. <laughs> so how did it go taking a photo of the well, photos of the president of the top man in the country uh, yeah. of course like i was i was a bit nervous like when, when i got there <laughs> but but <laughs> you know, Were you shaking the whole time? <laughs> not really not really yeah. I, think, I, think I was a bit nervous when i just entered state house but yeah. uh i think the president was a good man like he's, he's very welcoming because when we got there he started asking me where i'm from and after i realized that i'm from copa he started using bemba you know, were, were, so, you give, were you given so, a shot of whiskey to calm your nerves? Uh, no, 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 nothing no, just like asking, that. Just asking, just asking. <laughs> nothing like that. It, it was it was really a a, a very welcoming man, and uh, it, it made our job very easy. I think it was very outgoing. He started cracking jokes there when we were yeah. together and whatnot. No, it was really good. But then again, you know, saying people start thinking and aligning yourself, wouldn't you think making it clear that you're not endorsing anyone, you're actually doing your job like uh, like uh, usual? 
I, I'm, I'm telling you, like, like, like you said. It's not like the artists who, yeah, yeah. when they sing, it, it clearly sounds like an endorsement, yeah, even but, though but they'll come and say. We are both artists and, and yeah. we are just doing almost the same thing, but in different departments. In different ways, yeah. You know what I mean? So you're like, also like, scared. If, if, even the time when, uh, I think there's a time I posted something a bit political. Yeah. Just before election. Then people, are, I, I saw what people were posting on my the comments. They're like, no, but you shot the president. You were this and that. <laughs> But pe what people don't understand is it, this is just work. You yeah. know what I mean? Anyone can call me. Even the current president can call me and can go do the work. Even anyone. For me, it's just work. I'm just trying to work. But like I said, the way the country is now, it's politically charged. Like everything you do, it's either they will align you with another political party or the other like, way around. Where did that go? How did we become so politically charged? How did we become so unforgiving as Zambians? You know what I mean? Like, what, what, what do you feel about that? Uh, I think people are, no, are now more vocal, especially with the social media, and they know that they can voice out whatever they want to say and no one is going to do anything. Well, ge well, a generation just, of keyboard warriors. Yeah, keyboard warriors, like you said. Yeah. So th that's how it is. So it's... it's, it's um, I don't know how to put it, but uh, that's how it is. You, you have to live it through it. It is what it is. It is it what is it is. What it is. <laughs> <laughs> you have to live through it. That's the way it is. Davis, uh, in my eyes, you are a, a success story. Coming from the Copper Belt, yeah. you came to Lusaka from yeah. the Copper Belt. Humble beginnings. I used to yeah. see you in Kitwe, man. Like, I yeah, stated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, you are like one of the people that I inboxed when I was just starting. Remember, that was before I started photography, if you remember. I was doing graphics. I did uh, some graphics yeah. for you. Your campaign, your Mosi nomination. Yeah. I did the graphics. Yes. That, that was before I started photography. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. I was I, in Lusaka then. You were on the Copper Belt. So when I came to the Copper Belt, you said, you should come to my house. And you came. And that's how you came. And you were Davis Vlahakis then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, what was that surname though? Because you, that, you keep that's changing. My, that's, that's my granny's uh, last name from my dad's Yeah, side. but you used it for a, a, a number of years. You were yeah, Davis Vlahakis for the longest time. I was trying to create a brand by then, but it, it just, just didn't cut. <laughs> So you went back to Davis Tony, then Tony. you no, you went back to Davis Marco, uh -huh. then became Davis Tony. Davis Tony, yeah. yeah. You know what? You brought back so many memories of yeah. you coming to Kitwe mm -hmm. and me encouraging you to come to Lusaka, to come to like Lusaka. to set up something in Lusaka. Go to Lusaka. Yeah. Lusaka. You're one of those people that's, that pushed me to go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I couldn't refuse this interview. <laughs> this podcast <laughs> is done. Are we done? <laughs> yeah. I influenced someone to come to Lusaka, guys. Imagine. I'm an yeah, influencer. Influencer. <laughs> <laughs> influencer for real. You I, I, are an influencer. Dude. Look what you've created. I've made it in life. Yeah. I've made it in life. True. I need to make DJ switch as well. Watching Kapupanga Omfo. Now he's, he's in Osaka, so t send him to SA. Oh, yeah. Go to Ka Josie. Kale boy. Go to yeah. Josie. We need to make a Kalevo for him. Yeah. Yeah. Go to Josie. <laughs> Davis. Yeah. Like I said, in my eyes, you're a success story. Thank you. Using a movie title, how would you describe your life? Mm, movie title? Yeah. I'm, movie is gonna be. Please don't go for Titanic. No, 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 no. I'm yeah. not thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not thinking. I'm going for Or even a TV series. <laughs> not, not Lambo. Not Rambo, yeah. <laughs> what movie is <laughs> huh. Um, there's an Indian movie that I watched, Slam Dog. Slam Dog Millionaire. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. That's a success story. Yeah. yeah true. Yeah. Although, well, not in no, the. No, no, yeah, but I, I think not I, in the most dignified manner. But hey, but yeah. yeah, something like that. Okay. I, I can't think of any movie on top of my head. Slum Dog Millionaire. Yeah. You come from the slums. Did would you say you came from the slums to? I, I came from. How do you describe Chimwemo? Is it a compound? Nah, it's not a slime. Switch. What are they called, Chimwemo? How do you describe it? <laughs> It's, it's a it's a compound. It's a it's, it's a township. A, it's a township. Yeah, that's it's my project. That, in the, in that, the states, it's my project. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah. The yeah, yeah. <laughs> same house, same. Uh, yeah, that's true. It's not a compound. But you, I, you I, know one thing I like about Chimwemwe? Uh -huh. I've never seen such creativity in, in one township. Yeah, there's so much. That there's township so much. has produced who? Four's Rate Empire. If, even you know, you know, even even the president told even, me. Even the know, president, yeah, he, he lived there when he was at Mukuba Secondary yeah. School. Yes, so he used to call me Chimwemwe when I'm at State House. <laughs> That's why he used to call me. Chimwemwe has produced people yeah. like I, I could give you a list of successful people right now yeah. in the country mm -hmm. on a very national scale who yeah. came from Chimwemwe. Mm. You're, you're talking about who? Four's Rate Empire. Who else? Four's Rate Chandana 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 K. 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 That's Chimwemwe. Chimwemwe. Wait, wait, wait. 
Kopala dance came from Chimwemwe. Uh -huh. The Chimwemwe dance came from Chimwemwe. Ah, that's yeah. a factory, man. And that's look at this. Tony. Yeah. Davis Tony. From Chimwemwe oh, no. to Scared House. <laughs> 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 from Chimwemwe to Scared House. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't believe it as well. Tell us something that might surprise us about you. I play soccer as well. That's not surprising. I've, that? I've seen photos of you with Pats and Daka, so <laughs> I think there's a hint of soccer there. So yeah. Yeah, yeah I really love football. Are you guys Watch close this. friends? Not really. Because like, I just knew him when he was, uh, he you know? was already Pats and Daka. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so we don't have that relationship. So he can't like really qualify you as a friend because you knew him nah, when, nah, when nah, he had nah, money. Nah, nah, yeah, some, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something, yeah. Something, 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 something real. Yeah, but you guys get along. You call yeah, each we, other? Yeah, we do. We, do, we, do we, we, we talk a lot even on Instagram. The other day we were talking. Um, even after talk. the four goals you guys spoke? Yeah, we spoke. Um, <laughs> was it four or three? Four goals. That, that was four Europa. goals. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So you guys spoke after that? Yeah. <laughs> levels baby levels. levels I don't know any superstar like that man De wait he I'm talks here. to Pats and Duck on I'm that here. level I'm here I know you're not <laughs> <laughs> Tony if you could do another job mm. okay apart from photography what, what, what would it be what would you do uh, apart from like the creative industry about, yeah apart from photography I, I, think I, I love film like, I think I've, I've also developed this love for film uh, also, are you, are you slowly branching off into film as well? No, really, because I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm even going <coughs> slow on a photography thing. I'm, mo I'm more into directing now. Since I've built a team that uh, do what I, I envision, okay. it's easy for me to just direct. And, but uh, I don't know. I, I was even thinking about film school the other day, but mm. I, I don't think I have uh, the time for that for now. So are you just going to go with, uh, are you going to work with guys who are already in the film industry to teach you or, yeah. I mean, there's even online courses yeah, now. Yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I wanted to have physical classes because I wanted to do it uh, somewhere outside the country. Yeah. But I, I, are you already working on something that, <laughs> something like that? <laughs> like what are you working on, man? Break it down like it's a fraction. Break, break it down like a fraction for us, bro. It's, it's just like the basics. I'm just trying to learn the basics and whatnot because I've seen there's a gap when it comes to a film in, in the country, mm -hmm. I've, I've, I've worked with uh, Kenny, Kenny. I've worked with... Was like Kenny, Kenny Rock. Kenny, Kenny Rock. Okay. He's a really good guy. I've worked with a few videographers and, and, and I'm not playing down on them or anything, but I, I think what they bring on the table is very good. But okay. I think that there's, there's a level we need to just uh, go up a bit. Kanya! 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 Yeah. Kanya! 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 Yeah. And, and, and you, you can understand with the uh, limited resources, yeah. limited equipment that we have here. And, and I'm sure most guys are working with what, what they have at hand. But what, what are you aiming for? What level are you aiming to reach in, uh, in video? Uh, the top notch. Hollywood. Hollywood. <laughs> go on, go on, go on. Go on, go on. I don't know how it's going to be attainable, but we'll get there. Because like, like, I, like I, I always tell people like, Seven years ago, if somebody asked me to say, what are you going to be in the next five, uh, seven years? I wouldn't have thought I'm going to be a photographer. So, like, I don't know what, what's going to happen. But uh, for me, and right now, that's something I'm trying to... What, what's the best thing about your work? Uh, it, it, I had my artistic feel to everything that I do. I had my, a bit of myself to... That is profound, bro. <laughs> well, that is profound. <laughs> and what would you name autobiography of your life if you if we were to write a book about you what would you what title would you give it oh. now you're giving me a tough time <laughs> <laughs> I know, with this thing. I know, i've never thought about that i've never thought about writing a book for myself huh? i've never thought about that but uh ish, i don't know man but it does to have chumwemo somewhere <laughs> <laughs> chumwemo has to be there because it's always in my heart I've got an idea. Mm -hmm. Chimwemwe to the world. Yeah, that Speaking like of the world, you were in Dubai. Is, is this where the dress code came from? <laughs> you, were you inspired I, I, by I Dubai? I was inspired by Dubai. You know, I, I, I went there, you went for some works. Yeah? Like it was, was a wonderful experience. You had, uh, you, you had a, a very interesting photo shoot. A very pretty yeah. Arab <laughs> lady. <laughs> if, why? It was really good. Uh, who is she? Really who is she? she she's, uh, she's a daughter. She's, she's actually a model, but she's a daughter of uh, the lady that I was working for. So you were called to go do a yeah, photo shoot in Dubai. Instagram, from Instagram. Somebody in Dubai saw you he and said, called you, you from Zambia. Yeah. Psh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> look at you. Ah, well, you've made it. It was really good. Well, and, and wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Uh-huh. Somebody yeah. from Some- Dubai mm-hmm. called you yeah. to take photos from Zambia. Yeah. That's how powerful social media is now. Like, how it connects people from different parts of the world. I well, switch it. What are you doing with your life? Who's called you to <laughs> Dubai? <laughs> 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 Ah, now it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you supposed to do this? Because I'm not Yeah. You know, when somebody like that, especially now when they text you to say they want to work with you, yeah. you, you start to, to fear, like you get scared. And, and especially with the stories that we hear of people going to Dubai and say they, 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 they are killed and sell their organs yeah. and whatnot. So it was a bit scary. But so did, you sell, did you sell anything? But, but I had to do a background check. Like have you ever sold a kidney before? Things uh, like that? No, 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 no. I didn't. I just I had to do a background check and whatnot. So I, had, I actually have a friend who stays in Dubai. So I, I told him to do a, a due diligence for me just to see if, if things are legit. And yeah. he told me it's a, a things are straightforward. And they bought their ticket for you, everything. Yeah. Hey, sweet stuff, man. I want to yeah. be like you when I grow up. Please do. I You'll really want to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> to just get a call from Dubai. <laughs> oh, that, yeah. I'm sure there was an yeah. Arabic accent, but... No, no, she's actually Indian, but she's, she's oh. been there for, for like 20 years now. Sweet like stuff, she was man. The first people that uh, came to Dubai when it was just developing. She has money. Okay. She has money. When I say money, she has money. Speaking of money... Um, they say successful people play together. Who, who are your friends? Who do you who chill with? Who do you, who, do you, who do you hang with? But my circle is quite small. Like, like who do you call when you're in a jam? Who do I call? Should I start mentioning names? Yeah, just mention a name. Just one. What, what's the one I know if we get who to I call have, when we're in a jam? I have, I have, I have, um, Eno Cavindele. <laughs> as a very good friend of mine. I have, uh, <laughs> look at you. Wait, the, the dad or the son? <laughs> The photographer uh, the, or the, the dad? Fo- the, the photographer. Okay, what am I going to be doing with the dad? Oh, we we got my levels, but Tony, <laughs> we never know. No. Know. <laughs> no. And, huh? and, and, and I think over the years, I've, I've built like good relationships with, uh, with Maki 2, uh, Sheffy. Yeah. Maki, yeah, Maki 2 is the kind of guy who can get you out of a jam, right? Yeah, yeah, true. I think true. he's a good guy. He is, he is a very good guy. Yeah. He is a good guy. He's, he's a brother's keeper. Whenever you need something, you just call him and he's going to pull up. He's Vin, he's it. the Vin Diesel of Zambia. Vin family. <laughs> yeah. it's, about, it's about family. family. That's our family. He's, he's a very good guy. <laughs> I, I can't uh, say anything bad about him. He's Seriously. Mm-hmm. Davis, your journey from here on, you've already spoken about video and all that, but where do you see yourself in 10, 20 years from now? Uh, like I said, I don't know how it's going to be like. For me, I, I like planning things in short terms. So let's say in the next... Yeah. Six months. What am I gonna do? Yeah. What, what if, do you if you say if you say ten years from now, it's gonna be too much. Cause I, like, what if I was still photography and start doing other things? Yeah. Cause sometimes like I, I feel like I'm creatively bent out sometimes, and I, I just wish I could just do something else and come back later on. So I don't know what's gonna be like in the next ten years. Sweet stuff, man. Yeah. Maybe I'll be a, a politician or something. I'm just joking. I don't do politics. <laughs> about that. <laughs> I can't about do politics. That. We've already spoken about Zambians being unforgiving. So <laughs> No, I can't uh? do politics, unfortunately. <laughs> politics in dirty game. Dirty game. Uh-huh. <laughs> Davis, when the director upstairs yells cut at mm-hmm. the end of your life, what would you want to be remembered as? as what, would, what do you want your legacy to be? Somebody who gave us a part of him sharing his uh, story. And a lot of photography. And a lot of pretty chicks on your timeline. They are, they are clients. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> they are my clients. But when it comes to photography, there's the, uh, you've got more female clients than male yeah, clients. Yeah, eh? because like I said, when, when, I, when, I, when I took up photography full, full time, yeah. I, 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 I wanted to major in something that I was good at, yeah. which is beauty photography. Okay. So I started focusing more on beauty. So that way it opened more doors to models, beautiful girls, uh, like you said. You're, you're the guys messing things up for us. That chick looks so pretty on uh, you know, Instagram and because of David Stoney no, no, and his a, filters it's, it's, and it's cleaning a, it's up. Not, it's not my fault. I'm just doing my job. <laughs> <laughs> you are beautifying them. That's all. So, so, yeah. So I, I think that's, that's what... Um, what, what, that's what happened. I started yeah. focusing more on beauty and, and, and I, I got to work with more... Uh, people doing cosmetic and beauty stuff than anything else. Hence but I've, I've shot a lot of weddings and whatnot, but I, I don't think it's something that I really like. 
So what, what, make, what makes you more money? The studio or when you go out of the studio for the weddings and stuff? Corporate work. <laughs> or the banks. The banks, you know. At least they can just dream of a figure and they'll pay. No, not really. You have to agree on what you can do. You have to agree on what you can do. So recently, I was, I was, I was creating a photo bank for Zanako. Mm. Good, good pay. It was a good pay. Hence and the soft life. No, not really. <laughs> I'm still working hard. I'm not driving the car that I want. What are, what are you driving now? This is... Uh, <laughs> Corona. Ah, Buffy. Buffy. There are only two cars in the car park right Sayara. now. Sayara. There are only two cars in the car what park what right now. Is? Mine and the BMW. Ah, yeah, so you've said it yourself. I wanted to confirm. <laughs> and mine is not a BMW. <laughs> Davis, it's been real. Yes, Thanks bro, for coming I, through. I really appreciate it. Because um, rumor on the street is that you don't do interviews. So I'm I really don't. Hungry. I don't. You, you were the first guy to put me on. So I, I, I couldn't say no. <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean. Wait, for you to post a face. Oh, don't, don't post a wallet. Watch, don't watch my Yeah, I, I don't do interviews because I, I don't want people to get to know me personally like that. I, 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 would, yeah. I would like people to know more of my work than me. I, I, I just wanna when I don't have transport, I get on a bus going to town and what. No, instead of people saying. No, eh, we saw a celebrity who did that, so I tried to <laughs> run away from cameras and not no, okay. as much as I can. Uh, Abby, you, you, had a, you had a question? You want Tony to do a tongue twister? <laughs> tongue twister? <laughs> she had a tongue twister for you. Hey. Um, I think she's trying to see. Ah, that's why she's trying to see. If you have a good one, you can't see it. If you have a If you have a good one, you can't see it. 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 I tell you. Yeah. Davis, thanks a lot for coming through. I appreciate it, brother. Much appreciated. Thank much love. Much. much respect. Yeah. I wish you nothing but God's love. You too, brother. Thank good you health, much. long life, joy, Amen. abundance Amen. to Amen. you, bruv. Money, Make money, all the money, money you money. can. Yeah, amen, Live amen. that soft life. Amen. Shake Davis Tony. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Nice Cheers. one, bro. Thanks. It's been that Z podcast. Peace. That Z podcast. Z podcast. Zambian conversations worth having. We talk to Zambian movers and shakers, the change makers, the achievers. We also discuss interesting topics. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube, That Z Podcast. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Listen to That Z Podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcast, and Anchor. That Z Podcast. Zambian conversations. Worth having. Hosted by K+. K- K+. It's K+, K+ baby. <laughs>